Making news in the summer of 2016, the cruise ship Crystal Serenity sailed the once ice-choked waters of the Canadian Arctic, traversing the sea route that British explorer Captain James Cook was searching for back in the summer of 1778. His mission was to find the Northwest Passage. Mathematician Harry Stern of APLUW's Polar Science Center studied Cook's records, which in effect extend knowledge of the Arctic sea ice edge to 240 years ago. In 1778, he sailed along the northwest coast of America and up past Alaska, and he found Bering Strait and sailed north through Bering Strait. In stark contrast to the clear sailing this summer, Captain Cook found himself face to face with an impassable wall of ice. Cook was stopped by ice at about 70 north along the coast of Alaska, so he turned to the west and he sailed along the edge of the ice looking for a way to get through. And he ended up sailing all the way over to the coast of Siberia without finding a way through the ice. So he gave up, he turned, he went south back through Bering Strait. Um, but it, the positions that he recorded, the, the data that he left, tells us where the ice edge was in August of 1778. Five decades later, another English explorer, Frederick William Beachy, hit a similar ice wall. He also recorded where the ice edge was, and it was approximately the same place as where Cook had found it 49 years earlier. The 18th century ice edge observations held firm until the late 20th century, when satellites began to measure the sea ice extent. But in the 1990s, a dramatic change. Starting in the 90s, we saw the ice edge begin to retreat farther and farther north. And in the 2000s, now the ice edge in August is retreating hundreds of miles farther north than it used to back in the 90s and earlier. By early in the 21st century, the Northwest Passage closed to Captain Cook and others began to open up in the warm summer months. Harry Stern found it fairly easy going in 2009. In 2009, there was an expedition called Around the Americas, which was a 60-foot sailboat that left from Seattle in June and sailed north through Bering Strait and then through the Northwest Passage. I was lucky enough to be part of that expedition for one month. We encountered a little bit of sea ice, not a whole lot. Ten years earlier, that wouldn't have been possible, I think. Now you can take a cruise ship that Crystal Serenity went through this past August with more than a thousand passengers. I don't know if they even saw any sea ice. <laughs> Captain Cook met his end in Hawaii, only a year after coming up against his wall of ice in the Chukchi Sea. But Harry Stern's new evaluation of Cook's first-hand observations adds to the knowledge of the Arctic Ice Edge and how it's affected by climate change. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.